Okay, we're on the test server and uh, lots of weapon rebalance on this particular weekend. So, there are lots of viable builds. Uh, this one is quite a fun one, which I'll uh, put in the gameplay. The new prototype, and with the added damage to the geckos, this is actually quite a viable build that does quite well. Uh, got a fusion with the triple scourge punishers because they just shred uh, as you'll see I've put that in as a comparison to the scourge weapon because they're both 600 meter range uh, this has the advantage of being able to fire from behind cover whereas scourge needs line of sight so I just wanted to do a quick comparison between those and that's just a fun dock build, but also to kind of show off its sexy new skin that will be coming up soon. Also, as you'll see, um, lots of other viable builds. <laughs> a carnage with uh, two flamethrowers. Oddly enough, the spirals, because they seem to have had a huge damage buff this, this weekend. They're doing a lot of damage, uh, so that's another one I could have done. And I have run. <laughs> Now, uh, obviously, I've tried and tested all these this weekend. Even this is fun, because the aphids have had a little buff as well. They're not buffed so much that it was, uh, you know, as ridiculous, ridiculously overpowered. Just a 5%, if I remember rightly. So, yeah. Tons of fun builds to run. <coughs> But, but for this first one, I will, uh, let's have a think. Course, let's have a look at the Scourge weapon, uh, with the geckos on top, because it's such a quite a fun little build. And worked quite well. Yeah, I hope they change the sound on that flamethrower, because, uh, it sounds ridiculous. <laughs> Just put it mildly. Okay. It'll do for a gecko target. I shouldn't have locked on really. But... And the scourge still does uh, damage relative to distance and uh, interpolate between but you can see how much health I'm draining off that guy and I'll let both re regenerate one thing that does need changing is how the um, see, how, see how much I'm shredding <laughs> that was insane one thing that does need to change on how the scourge weapon operates at the moment it's it's still waiting for line of sight but it it kind of it fires but you see now I've only got say I don't know what 90% of my burst left I would rather have a regeneration rate like like how the Orkins regenerate rather than have a set reload time Because uh, you could end up with having, you know, you could easily get caught out. You could get jumped in on and not be able, not be able to fire anything, you know. Uh, and I'd much prefer to have uh, see the see the uh, the way the Chilumbus are regenerating there. I'd, I'd much prefer the Scourge weapon to do the same rather than have a set reload time. It, cause it, it as a weapon it benefits from that and I'm guessing if it's going to be a gold weapon that, sh that should be included it's because uh, this is uh, the way it operates at the moment um, 
it kind of gives it leaves you at a disadvantage because I've only got half a burst to fire with. And that's quite an important point. I can't. I really want to get across to uh, the developers on that. Stop the reload time. Just have uh, a regeneration, kind of like Hawkins, Jalumbus. Okay, well, let's do a quick comparison to Hydras and the Scourge. Both the same sort of distance. Well same distance, 600 meters. Should have alternated that fire early. But um, the advantage with Hydras, as we all know, is you can fire from cover. Now I want to pick a target that hasn't got a shield. I'm trying to kill them in so to get around the obstacles and you want to keep you want to kind of keep moving you don't want to be a camping hydra pilot you want to be a backpack <laughs> you know uh, uh, as to quote chain fire or i think even Stu might even use it stupendous you want to be a backpacker so you want to be moving around not be a static target for lots of reasons but mainly to get better angles and to help kind of confuse your enemy as well. And I want to stay well out of that the range of that flamethrower because that will just tear this fusion up. It's an only medium bot, remember. Now, I should be able to get through the carnage's shield if I can get away from him. Ah, smart pilot. He kept coming. So I will use the shredders, <laughs> the punishers. But I'm not joking, these things are insane this weekend. I'll show you on the you know you all know what uh what it takes to drop an uh, drop an answer shield. I'll just show you uh how quickly this thing comes down when I unload on it. I'm guessing uh, whoever that guy is shooting at the red is plasma. What's this? Through the shield. Killing spray to spare. They are great fun, and I have been having tons of it this weekend. <laughs> so let's get out. Oh, just for that time. 